Since the dawn of eternity. In this time of absolute darkness, we must unite to bring forth the light of hope. The time has come. Yes, this is the dawn of a new age. And so the Militus Empire, home to the White Peristilium, invaded... You sure cough a lot sometimes, Remsky. Are you okay? What? Oh, I'm fine. It's just a minor case of asthma. Asthma? Can you still go on missions? Dr. Aratia has given me her permission. Oh. If you're seeing Mother, then you'll be fine. Yeah. I agree. And how are you, Sink? I'm always fine. Right now, I'm feeling even better than usual. Right? Huh? Yeah, for sure. If the Empire shows up right now, we could own them. All of you are so strong you are. I suppose I ought to work a tad harder if I'm going to keep up now. Aw, you can worry about that when we get back. No need to rush. Sice and I will keep watch. You can rest now. Yeah, I know. Huh? Worried about Makina? What? That's ridiculous! Anyway, he didn't have to get so angry. What was that? She probably feels that her words are what set him off. Hmm? Oh, is that what that's about? <laughs> no need for her to feel guilty. If she hadn't said it, I would have. Indeed. But when did he learn about his brother? It didn't seem as if he had known it from the beginning. It must have been in Militus. I saw him. He was talking to the Commandant. What? That Baldy? What'd he want? <laughs> Machina got suckered just like that. It's more than that. He feels stuck. Nothing's working out for him. Damn. That idiot sure thinks way too hard. You don't think enough, Nine. You kidding me? I'm a think tank, yo. What does that even mean? Uh, never mind. King, Sice, it's our shift. You two get some rest. Roger that. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. to be working fine. Ramsky seems to be able to use magic, so our crystal must be doing all right. Maybe it's like a jammer. What do you mean? I can't say for sure, but 
I get the feeling something is interfering with our communications. But what could it be? Dunno. So, Trey, do you ever feel like you've done something before when you know you haven't? You mean deja vu? Yeah, kind of. It's been happening to me a lot lately. I can't say I've never experienced it. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I don't think I've felt it as strongly as you. Well, essentially, frequent deja vu can be attributed to problems in the part of your brain that stores memories, or when you're suffering schizophrenic. Ugh, never mind. So, Machina's still not back yet? Maybe the Imperial forces got him. If they found him, they would have come here by now. Well, either way, if he takes any longer, we'll have to leave him behind. so worried. Are you hurt? Uh, no. Sorry I wasn't back sooner. What happened out there? The... The White Tiger. White Tiger? You mean, the enemy? Oh, uh, I have news! The enemy? No! What? Oh, Machina! I'm glad you made it back! Ah! Uh, be glad later! Is it the enemy? Oh! Uh, 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 no! The comm is responding! I've reached the Dominion! Thank you. 
Glaciamans 842RG. Andoria, Queen of Concordia, was assassinated in the Militesi capital city amidst peace talks. In regards to this tragic event, the kingdom prepared a statement for all of Orients to hear, which claimed that Rubrum's Agitol cadets were involved and publicly condemned them. In the same month, Concordia's provisional government formed an alliance with Milites. Behind a pretext of protection, the Azure Dragon Crystal was placed under the Empire's supervision. The Empire was now in possession of the crystals from three of the four crystal states. Now, Milites and Concordia made preparations to simultaneously invade Rubrum as allies. The First Battle of Judecca. They accuse us of sending assassins after Queen Andoria and Imperial Marshal Sid because they believe we are unhappy with the terms of the truce. When such wild accusations are made and accepted, it does not say much about the laws of Orients. How could this have come to pass? Wasn't there anything we could have done? The question is, what was Class Zero doing during all of this? They are the ones being accused, are they not? Yes! Where is Class Zero now? If they had but testified before our tribunal, this would not be happening! They have been reported missing inside Militas, but I hear they are back in Rubrum now. Yes, they're back. Reporting back, sir. Submit your mission report. The Consortium may choose to open an inquiry. You mean... that's all you have to say? After everything we've just been through? Just tell us. Why didn't you answer our transmissions? We didn't receive any. Our communications couldn't reach you either. What a load of crap, yo! You saying that all of our comms just died all at once, huh? The Inquiry Board believes you may have intentionally cut off communications. What?! Welcome back. You are free to rest until further notice. Let's go.
they certainly made the situation worse for us. That's for sure. Without a doubt, Class Zero is to be held accountable for this turn of events. Still, if we're to regret our failures... Ridiculous. Ridiculous? Might I remind you? Those cadets are your... Uh, oh. That's enough talk about Class Zero. Everyone, we must focus on addressing the looming crisis that is unfolding before us. <coughs> True. The Militess Concordia Coalition Force is preparing to invade our territory, even as we speak. If we don't take the appropriate measures... We shall utilize the Verboten Eidolon. Ver <gasps> what? But the Verboten Eidolons have not been allowed for use ever since the Great War. You, more than anyone, must know why they were banned, Chancellor. To begin with, sir, I don't mean to offend you, but there is not a single person alive who is capable of controlling Verboten Eidolons. The decision was made by Lady Setsna. The Sea Setsna? She's going to help us. Can we assume, then, that Lady Setsna believes there to be a genuine threat to the Vermilion Bird territories? Well, if that is the case, there is nothing more for us to debate. Is that correct? This is truly ridiculous. Time really flies. It's... Hmm? Mother? Check up time. We can start with you. So come to sorcery right now. Nice to see you made it back from Militas. Were you worried? No, I wasn't worried. I had faith that you kids would be alright. Mother... Oh... Uh, am I... Okay? Something wrong? It's just... I've been having a lot of deja vu lately. And then Trey... Sorta of scared me. Really? Oh, I have to go. Mother, could we talk later about my deja vu? You're in perfect health, both body and mind. I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, thanks.
help you? What is it? Hey! Despite what Dr. Aracia says, I cannot dismiss Class Zero's actions. We are in this predicament because of them. And as Class Zero's commanding officer, don't think you're off the hook either. Of course not. I accept full responsibility for their conduct. Although having left the front line some time ago, I take it one of the four champions of Rubrum can still fight. You will take part in the next mission, and once again bring glory. If you are able to lead our forces to victory, then I will pardon Class Zero for their recent transgressions. You are too kind, Commandant. I will do all in my power to live up to your expectations. What can a walking corpse like him do? You know, sometimes, you can be quite cruel. We all know that the Ice Reaper is a broken vessel. The best Krasame can do is pass on his knowledge. Sending him onto the battlefield would merely add to the list of casualties. I'll have him provide support for the Lucy. Besides, I'm more concerned with what happens after the battle. It's about high time that we showed Dr. Aratia her proper place. So you would have Class Zero and Crossame die in battle just in order to oust Dr. Aratia? The end of Class Zero will be the end of that woman as well. We will surely suffer great casualties in the coming battle, and it is more than likely that we will lose. Then, it would only be prudent to rid ourselves of those who might get in the way. I will not allow that woman to control the Consortium after the war. All I ask is that you not involve the Chancellor and I in your schemes.
Good work. Can I help you? Don't overdo it. What do two division heads want with me? You certainly have quite the attitude for someone who has no accomplishments. No accomplishments? I've contributed more to our victories than- No, that is not your only task. We have yet to receive any reports from you regarding Class Zero. Did you not volunteer for this assignment? Oh, about that. I thought this matter only involved the Commandant. So, the entire Consortium's against Dr. Horatia now. Is that it? So while soldiers are sacrificing their lives on the field, you sit and conspire against one of your own? Watch your tongue! You wanted this assignment to be given to you instead of Rem Tokinia, did you not? <laughs> That's... Let us end this futile bickering, then. Our only wish is to bring to light whatever it is the Doctor is hiding. Hmm. So, tell us about Class Zero. Class Zero trusts the Doctor implicitly. No, it's more than that. They all refer to her as Mother, and love her deeply, as if they were family. Hmm. So the Doctor can make them do whatever she says. I trust that there is more to your report? Class Zero is comprised of highly dedicated cadets who remain emotionally detached when it comes to battle. Even if their comrades are dying, they put the mission first. They think nothing of sacrificing their own. I see. So the good doctor has created deadly weapons of war. But they did save lives whenever possible. Hmm? Well, I'm not sure what the doctor's thinking. I don't think she even tells them exactly what she's thinking. What are you talking about? You just informed us a moment ago that the doctor and Class Zero share a deep emotional bond. Class Zero only fights as they are ordered. And they do it for the Doctor and no one else. Hmm. Perhaps she fears information will be leaked. So, as of yet, you haven't verified any suspicious activities. Is that correct? Yes. Well, it's still too early to draw any conclusions. Continue your surveillance. Yeah, I got it. In so doing, you honor your brother's death. Uh. I heard about your brother. Most tragic. You should fulfill your duties on this mission for your brother's sake. Wouldn't you agree? 
You... Yes. In the future, try to be a little more timely with your reports. I understand how difficult it must be for you to investigate those with whom you work, but I am afraid this is necessary. I don't mind. The members of Class Zero aren't exactly my friends. Excellent. Still, it must be taxing to keep your cover operating alone amongst such well-trained cadets. Shall we have Rem assist you in your continued surveillance of Class Zero? There's no need for that. I mean, no. I'll be fine. There's no need to involve her. Very well. Just don't forget to keep us updated. Yeah, I got it. We'll wait and see what happens. Although we're investigating the doctor, we want to believe in her as much as everyone else. You may go. Hmm. It was quite fortunate for us that Izana Kunigiri had a younger brother. So long as his brother's death is with him, he won't develop camaraderie with Class Zero. He's a perfect agent. I am an Agito cadet. I am Izana's brother, a member of Class Zero. Rem's childhood friend. <laughs>